Good morning guys, Subatree so is here. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. You can't see it, but I'm looking at just clear blue skies with a lot of sunshine. It's not too hot, it's not too humid. It's just a very chill, cool, refreshing morning. And I'm about to get a workout in, hence the bandana. But, you know, I thought it'd be cool to do a rosemary rinse to have that pour on my scalp right after the, the workout. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Now, I know I've gotten a lot of subscribers since I put my last Rosemary Rinse tutorial up on this channel, so I figured since I am about to do it, I might as well film it. It won't take long. So, for those of you who have not seen how to make a Rosemary Rinse, stay tuned. Sebatreyu is here. Welcome to my channel. So these are the four ingredients that I will be using today. Let's start with the lemon. The lemon is a natural degreaser and so by squeezing some of the juice into my rinse that will work to help cleanse my scalp to cleanse some of the natural oils that may be caking up on my scalp. So definitely wanted some lemon up in this. Sage, some organic sage. Sage has antiseptic properties as well as it can be used as a natural hair dyer. So for people who have grays and don't like them and kind of want to cover them up, then they can use sage because it's a natural, natural darkener for brunettes. Now it's not going to be like your over-the-counter box dye, right? <laughs> Let's not get crazy, but people for a long time have used sage as to darken their hair and to cover their grades. Me, I want to use sage to kind of bring life back to my locks, the color that is. I think over time your locks can start to look dull and so I use sage to kind of revive them, if you will. Rosemary can also be used as a hair darkener, just like sage, but it is also known to stimulate blood flow to the scalp. And we all know by now that increasing the amount of blood flow to the scalp promotes hair growth. And then lastly, we have the fresh mint, and the mint also acts to stimulate your scalp, which promotes hair growth as well. And who doesn't like that fresh, tingly feeling on their scalp, right? So yeah, this is why I use these four ingredients. You can just use rosemary and sage. You can just use rosemary by itself or sage by itself, but I use these four. So first, we will add some water. All right, so I'm going to add my rosemary. I'm going to add my sage to the water. I'm going to add my mint to the water. And now I'm going to add my lemon, but before I add my lemon, I'm going to roll it. This helps to get the juice going for you, so when you squeeze, it'll come out much more easily. Ah, I can already smell the lemon. Slice it. Doesn't it look amazing? Like a commercial. And then squeeze it. And don't worry about the seeds or anything. That will be strained out anyway. Alright, so I'm going to let this sit and heat up and boil. I'm going to go work out and I'll be back after my workout. Alright guys, so as you can see, my rinse has been brought to a boil. So I'm going to turn the stove off and let it steep for at least 30 minutes. After that, I am going to strain it. And once it cools down, I am going to pour that over my scalp and box. All right, I just finished my workout for today. The rinse is still cooling, so I'm gonna give it a few more minutes and then I'll show you how I strain it. All right, so as you can see, this is completely cool now. And I just have a glass container and a strainer. I'm gonna put that on top like that. And I'm gonna pour. All of the stuff that I don't want in my locks. Ah, it smells so amazing. And I lift up, let it drink a little bit, and 
and that's what I'm going to rinse my hair with. Okay. All right. So for those of you who want to actually see me pouring the rinse through my locks and scalp, I will link the video above where I did it in the previous video. Um, I'm not going to show that again. Although I do know some people like to see every single step, but you don't need me to teach you how to pour liquid through your hair. <laughs> uh, but what I will do is I'll be back to check in to show you my hair after I have applied the rinse. All right, guys. So I just used the rosemary rinse on my locks. Put them up in the towel for a couple minutes to kind of absorb some of the excess moisture, and uh, now I just let them down. And yeah, they feel amazing. They feel like really soft and moisturized and not just because they're damp but I don't know you can feel a difference I think there's a certain oiliness to the lemon as well and so it's like almost like while it cleanses it still leaves like a good sort of oily film I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about well, um, but that's what that's it definitely does and they smell amazing you know I smell I smell, my locks smell like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, just earth. <laughs> this is the best way I can put it. So, um, yeah, I, um, I did the rinse and now they're all set to go into this three year anniversary on August 16th. So, hopefully this video was helpful to you. You should give it a try sometime, it's very simple and your house gets to smell good and your locks get to feel great and it's just a way to boost the health of your locks. So, um, as always, please learn to love unconditionally because loving with conditions conditions the heart to not really love at all. So Betray You is out.